Okay, so I'm back. And I took all the different things that I want to keep. The tadpoles, the water bugs, the snails, and the um, dragonfly nymph, and separated them into some clean water. I also have the predaceous diving water beetle, I think it's called. And I don't think I want him, so I'm going to just throw him outside in the swamp. Um, so I'm going to start introducing these into the tank. Oh, and I wanted to mention about the substrate here. The um, active flora, flora core, black <clears throat> planted aquarium substrate. That it has all types of nutrients in it to feed the plants. And it makes it so that you can quickly acclimate the um, plants to start with growing. So, while I was separating these, there was some really, really small water bugs. And um, I just see one right there swimming around. And I just threw them in to make it easier on myself. And I did throw that one tadpole in there, but he doesn't seem to be moving much. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get the nymph first. Little monster he is. Get over here. Got him. Oh. Come on. Get on there. Hey. Sometimes they jump around. I put him right in the tank. I'll have to get used to it. Funny how he landed right next to that tadpole. It didn't even move. All right, and I'm gonna put all these snails in there. I'm doing this because I don't want to get, even though I switched, put them in some cleaner water. I don't want to get, I don't want to get this little amount of funkiness from the swamp or marsh. That I got these guys from into my tank because I want to keep this thing as clean as possible. And yeah, just randomly. These guys are wild. They jump all over the place. Usually. Get on the spoon. Get off the spoon. wild. Probably should just dump some of the water out. Or just grab them with my hands. Get over there. Okay. Those are done. Tadpoles. They're very delicate. It's funny how they just play dead. In a minute, I'll be moving around again. They're kind of weak from being sitting in the bucket all day, I think, too. Some of them. See how he just took off, but he was playing dead a second ago. Hmm. 
This water came out of a Berkey water filter that's in my house all the time, so it's been about the same temperature as my tank. I don't have a heater on in the tank or anything because this is a natural ecosystem I've been building here. These ones are pretty vigorous. Don't jump out of there. Next time I'm only gonna go for the nymphs and I don't, unless, unless the nymph eats a lot of these things and there's not much left in my tank, I'm not gonna collect any more tadpoles unless they're tiny ones or uh, snails because we got plenty for this little tank. There's the little monster. There she's got to be hanging in the corner. Okay. So. I know that beetle looks kind of scary. I think I'm going to put this in here just to make it easier get rid of that water now I can try to just dump all these snails in there Still got a couple in there, I'll get them out in a minute. Just gonna go after these little guys. Now that Beetle larva has got some pretty good mandibles on it. I was wondering if it would try to bite me because I'm not really familiar with see his, see his mandibles. I picked them up out of my net and I didn't know what he was because it was kind of dim lit under the trees where I was and it was a rainy day. But he was squirming around and I thought maybe he was just a big nymph. So I took him, but if I knew where he was, I would have left him in where he was, where I found him. All right, so everything's in the tank. And I will Get back to you guys later. There he is. Looking right at us. A monster alien. Alright guys, um, I'll show you the progress later as the tank progresses and gets better.